What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and we're talking about Planner. And what we're going to look at today is a Planner action called Create a Bucket. So a bucket in Planner is kind of like a category, so it's like a, a, a column that denotes a bunch of work or a bunch of tasks in that, in that sort of column or that bucket. So it's a handy way that you can um, visualize where things are. So I build uh, build projects using Planner, so I could have things like these are product backlog, product backlog items, these are things that we're working on, these are things that are currently in UAT or currently in QA, these are things that are deployed, these are things that are you know, out of scope and stuff like that. So you can kind of handily filter and, and categorize all these places where work would be contained. It's a really cool um, way to do this and it's a really visually impactful way for people to see where projects and where work is up to. So if I click over to Planner, um, we can see we have my uh, Microsoft my Power Automate plan here, and we can see we have a single bucket which says to do. Now I can add a new bucket up here, and I can put a bucket name in, or I can use uh, Power Automate to do that. So let's give that a shot. Flip back to plan, uh, back to Power Automate. Um, I'm in my planner flow, and I've got a manual trigger just to trigger off this flow. And I can click new step, and then in the search bar, I can type planner choose a plan connection and then the third one down says create a bucket. So I need to give this bucket a name. So I'm going to put in power automate videos um, and that's, that's going to be the name of my bucket. Next, I need a group ID. So this is the group um, that contains the plan. So it's either the, um, so it's the, the sort of group that you have access to. Uh, in my instance, it is the uh, Power Automate plan there. And that is the name of my group that has access to uh, that planner board that I just showed you. And then the plan ID is actually the planner board itself. They're both called the same thing. It's just because when I created it, that's just what I did. Um, I just named them both the same thing. So click on that. And then that's all we need. So we just need three inputs. We need the name, the group ID, and the plan ID. So if we click on test, we'll choose save and test, and I'll perform the trigger action. And we'll hit run the flow, click done. Uh, and then we can see it run successfully. So we've triggered the flow, uh, and it's gone off, and it's created these things. So what the th one of the things it pulls back, it pulls back the name, pulls back the duet of the, the plan ID, um, Order hint, I don't really know what that is, <laughs> and ID. Um, and we'll go over to Planner, and if we refresh the page, we now have a new bucket. So I can now start putting tasks into this bucket as well. So I've got a bucket called To Do, and I've got a bucket called Power Automate Videos. So it's a nice and easy way to categorize uh, pieces of work or tasks that you've got um, in um, in Planner. So what do you guys think? Is creating buckets something that you do? Is it a very manual process? Um, one of the things uh, I use this for is I have a flow that when I start a new project, I just hit a button and I go off and I create a bunch of buckets. Um, that way I have all those buckets ready to go. So I have like my uh, my product backlog, my UAT, my QA, uh, my you know user acceptance testing, my, my you know customer validation. I have all these buckets all set up um, by just a click of a button. So it kind of reduces that overhead of using, uh, of going through this manually each time and creating things in the same way. But as always, I, know, I want to know what you guys use this for, so let me know in the comments down below. Um, do you use this? Do you not use this? Did, is it something that you knew? Do you use Planner all the time and the bucket creation? Is that, a, is that an overhead that you have? Uh, will this help you now? I would like to know. Um, if you did like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, please hit the subscribe button. I just hit 500 subscribers on my YouTube, which is absolutely incredible. Um, thank you to each and every one of you that have subscribed so far. Um, if you've not subscribed, please consider doing it. It really gives me great motivation to continue making these videos, and you can continue uh, on my daily video um, journey, so uh, it will be appreciated. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video and I'll see you next time.